And we're back with some more Room World and this stupidly oversized playthrough where things have slowed down to, I think we're down to 10 FPS according to uh, Steam. Anyway, it's still working though it's a little bit chunky at the moment and I thought I'd go over just some of the the silly sized numbers we've got. Before we do that we'll just pick up a, a psychic insanity lance, a bionic stomach and a lung. We're, we're gonna need every lung we can get our hands on and the bionic stomach I'm pretty sure someone's missing one but we'll get around to that in a minute. The fun part here is the numbers, and it's, it's it's gotten out of control. I'm sorting this here by the amount of time we've had the colonists for, and if we scroll down here and we check for the last 60 days, yeah, from down to here up, that's uh, 96 or 95, 96 colonists. So in the last 60 in-game days, we've hired 96 colonists, which is an average of one and a half colonists a day every day, <laughs> which which is a lot. That That's... An awful lot. We've also, well, the recruitment spree we've been doing for a while has been great, but we really do need more new recruits. We've only got four prisoners left that are, we are currently recruiting at a ferocious rate. It's like uh, recruit, recruit, no, food binge, masterwork, fire starting spree, new recruit, new recruit, scan, new recruit. They're just, they're everywhere. But it's fine, it's fine. We're, uh, next thing we're going to do here, though, is we're going to fix up this crop area. I was thinking we could extend this crop area to include this section over here, and we could maybe squeeze in a few extra bits and pieces of grow lamps. Just... Ow. What? what? Oh, they removed the door. There was a door there holding up the roof, and when they did that... Oh, wow. Okay, you've got a cut to your head, but you're still alive. Well, that's good. I should really have been more careful there, shouldn't I? I swear, I was, I was planning to put these uh, marble columns in, but yeah, things got out of the way. Never mind. Uh, let me try and fix this without getting anyone killed. That allows us to squeeze in well, four more crop areas. We're just going to throw down Devil Strand for now. We've got enough food coming in, so that Devil Strand should hopefully get us some more dusters, of which we are desperately short. Yeah, this does mess with our system a little bit, but I'm not too worried. This whole area is just going to be one big crop section anyway. I could probably do something here with this section, but you know what? It's fine. In fact, I think we're going to do something similar down here. Uh, we should be able to squeeze in another five crop areas right here. More food, more people. Well, this finish ups, finishes up. Let's have a quick look back, and we've got this pawn who had a destroyed stomach. Uh, Jeremy Hing... Hing ah, sorry. Names are all shortened. But uh, Jeremy here is getting a new stomach installed because they didn't have a stomach to begin with. And we did pick up one recently. We still have a spare lung I have to dish out to someone. I'm, I'm pretty sure we've got a few people missing lungs, kidneys, legs, arms, uh, pretty much everything. Only thing that can be missing is missing and... Oh, whatever. We've got a couple of angry donkeys, I think. I think we can handle a couple of angry donkeys. Ooh, actually, that donkey's way too fast. Back off, donkey. Uh, a little bit of seasoning with some hot lead and the donkeys are no longer a problem. But with all of that taken care of, we're now expanding this crop area down here. We're up to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's 13 crop areas. This actually works out really nicely. If you put your, uh, if you just take the hallway and one area of crop section, you can fit in an extra five crop pieces. We started the same over here if it wasn't for that uh, geothermal generator in the way. But it does allow us to expand quite nicely. This, uh, this build design is actually quite neat for little tw little quirks like that that make it quite efficient. We now have so many constructors, there's pretty much one person assigned to every single job. It is probably not very efficient when you go to build a wire and, you know, the metal gets laid out and then five different builders come along to finish it off. But it works enough. We're slowly but surely grinding up everything and, well, reasonably slowly at this point because we're just, we have so many people to get everything done. I think... I think we're actually out of prisoners, are we? I think we have hired a lot of them. We have zero prisoners left in the bank. I can't remember the last time we were this empty on prisoners. Right. Um, when it comes to accommodation, it's the only thing we're really running short about now. We have five empty beds here. Uh, let's get rid of all of this. Oh god, so many people got hired. Pawn wants to bond with their master. The great thing about having so many pawns is stuff just gets done so quickly now. It... We used to have problems in the past where we'd have, like, whatever, 50 prisoners, but we'd only have uh, 100 colonists. And that's so much of our effort was going into just maintaining those uh, those prisoners. But now we have so many colonists that we, it just doesn't matter, really. Well, okay, if we had 100 prisoners, it'd be the problem. We've only got about a couple of hundred colonists. Actually, a little bit less. Ooh, naming ceremony. 161. Yes, we're up to 161 pawns. We've got uh, Mascot. 
And mascot here is going to be put into cooking and animals for obvious reasons. Now, what I love is they're a slothful ascetic, which just makes me think they're a student, you know, because they've got that terrible bedroom. They just don't clean up after themselves. Also a misogynist. So now I'm just thinking they're, they're, they're a fat boy. Yeah, they're, <laughs> no, no offense to frat boys. I don't think I, I'm not actually familiar with frat boys, but just from the stereotypes. Anyway, they were actually solid pawn. They'll work out pretty well, though that slothful is a little bit of an annoyance. They won't be great at the cooking. I think we're going to have to expand our kitchen facilities. 162, we have Joelle. They'll be doing scanning and cleaning, namely because you know, they don't really have any good traits going on here for that we want. So, mm. oh well, psychically hypersensitive nudist with creepy breeding. Might be an idea to actually stick a one of those psychic harmonizers, that's it. We've actually got a couple of psychic harmonizers lying around, though I would like to do some testing on the side before I install one of those in a pollen. I have nightmares that a heavy psychic drone will kick in and then things will just like go horribly, horribly wrong. But welcome to the team, Joel. You'll do fine at scanning, but you're going to spend the majority of your life cleaning, I do believe. 163, Camille Chapnik. Uh, art and wardening, namely because, well, they're just, they don't, we have run into some really weak pawns here near the end, unfortunately. Good shooting and melee, melee skills going around, but it's just, yeah, a jealous masochist who's incapable of dumb labour. Oh, oh, and they also took an arrow in the knee. But they'll, they'll get along fine, it's just a case of there's not really much they can do, since they can't clean or carry or do any of that stuff. They're going to spend a lot of their time idling, I think. Though, yeah, we'll get them into shooting and hunting. 164, Jeremy Hill, cooking and animals, namely because we just need way, way, way more cooks and animals because they've got a burning passion for it. Staggeringly ugly, transhumanist, quick sleeper. These are actually, well, the staggering is going to suck a bit, but, you know, they won't be liked. Dumb, can't do dumb labour, caring or social. A lot of people who can't do dumb labour recently. Actually, a pretty good pawn. Though they came with a circadian half-cycler built in, which means they don't sleep at all, but they have a minus 15% to consciousness. Oh, I'm not sure if this is going to affect their chances of food poisoning, though I haven't seen any recently and I've been letting them cook for a while, though it's going to make them slower at everything. Just because of the slowness and the other pawn that's uh, lazy, I think I'm going to put in a second kitchen about here so we can uh, double up on the amount of uh, cook stations we have. But I think they'll work out as a solid pawn. They can just spend all their waking hours cooking forever and ever and ever. 165, we have Jenai Mort. Thank th thanks for the, the phonetic pronunciation. That really helps, actually. Animals and cleaning. Uh, namely because, well... We're crafters, artistic, intellectual, like none of these really help us that much at the moment. We've got so many people covering all those other things that all we really need is plants, cooking, mining, animals. That's pretty much it, actually. Anyway, transhumanist slothful. Uh, the transhumanist will be a bit of a problem. They're going to have a, a minus four and they don't have a... Like, unlike our last transhumanist, they don't actually have any implants installed. But we'll, we'll get them something eventually. It's just right now we don't have any bionics or any implants we need to get dish out. 166, Sasha Grossenbacher. That is... Oh, God. Okay, sorry about the pronunciation again. Sasha Grossenbacher? Grossenbacher. Mm. Apologies. Apologies. They will be going into planting and cleaning, namely because the only skill they have that isn't killing stuff is planting stuff. So plant stuff away. We will have to get you... Ooh, actually, you know what? We will uh, queue you up a quick operation. Why don't we just give you a field hand on your left hand? That will replace that ring finger that shot off as well. Might as well get these things done while we're here. I think they will make a very solid planter. Give them a, give them a year in the colony, they'll be planting and harvesting like crazy. 167, Matt Kowalski into mining. Uh, that's, yeah, that's it. They, they're only, only got mining. Uh, I, I'm not going to stick them into a site in plants or anything like that. Iron-willed, jealous, kind. Well, we definitely don't have enough jealous or greedy people. H how's our jealous, greedy bedrooms looking? Oh yeah, we, we've got... We've got five left. We've got five that are not filled. Well, Kowalski, you will do just fine in here in the team. In fact, since your speciality is mining, let's immediately give you a mining hand. Yeah, we've definitely got a few drill arms knocking about, so yeah, you can take it on your left arm. I'm just sort of standardizing on the left arm for everyone right now. 168, Stephen Schofield. They're going into cleaning. Um, their only thing they're good at is art, and yet yeah, we've, we've got better artists than that. Just look at that. Only good at shooting in melee. They're just a, a consummate pirate, I suppose, when they started. Uh, can't do caring her animals, a misandrist who dislikes men, and she's nimble. You know, she'd work out as a great brawler. You know, we should really do that. No health conditions. They're going to be, uh, they're going to spend their entire life just cleaning. D they'll be a useful addition to the colony. At 169, we've got Frederick, cleaning and scanning. Um, yeah, they, they've got crafting and intellectual, but they're, they're so low, it really makes no difference. So cleaning and scanning it is, and they're a sanguine neurotic. Not quite sure how that, that works out. They've got a plus 12 to the mood bonus. 
though they have a, an eight percent decrease in the the amount of mental breaks or their threshold for mental breaking, which means they'll break it forty three instead of I think it's thirty five. Yeah, you know what? It, it all balances out. They'll, they'll just uh, spend most of their time, you know, cleaning with the occasional bit of scanning on the side. D- d- solid pawn, not. <laughs> Sorry, Frederick. One hundred and seventy. We got Matt M. Planting and mining. Namely because, yeah, look at that plant scale. Hell yeah. And mining, they can do both of the things we really need them for. Downsides, they're an underground pyromaniac because they like to light fighter fires in enclosed spaces. You know what? We've got so many pyromaniacs at this point. We could, we could make a whole group of just pyromaniacs and give them incendiary launchers just for incendiary purposes. It would be hilarious. Uh, also very dangerous to put them all in one place. But yes, they will work out just fine. In fact, if they're only good at planting, let's uh, let's chuck them on a plant arm. Quick field hand on the on the left arm there, and they will become an even better planter than they were before. In, in all fairness, they pretty much suck at planting right now. Oh no, we've been ambushed by some ducks. They just... I don't know if they magically appeared out of somewhere or not, but yeah, that... Look at the cool dead eyes on that thing. <laughs> we were so lucky we were able to hold out. Just four people with machine guns, barely able to just protect themselves from the monsters coming after them. Ah, uh, yes. I think some of the uh, the game is just sort of broken at this point. It doesn't know how to react to this many pawns. It, it is sort of ludicrous. Oh, which reminds me, we should send out a few trade caravans. I haven't traded with the Empire in a while, and I really still want to get a kill-focused blade. For our next enemies, we're going to end up with some rabbits. Ooh, wow, they're fast. Hey, did you just bite one of my people? No, you didn't. Yeah, the... <laughs> They're too tough for you. Yeah, they are kind of chewy, I'll give you that. All right, we'll go over here and mine out these components as well. We have so much components coming in. And Jason, why didn't you just eat before we came in? You muppet. Now you're going to get the eight without table debuff. But you know what? It's fine. Just go mine. You, you'll feel so much happier. Remember, yeah, we've got how many components coming back in this group? Yeah, 146. I think we'll be fine in the component front for a while. Though I am stockpiling a little bit right now because... You never know when we're going to start running out. We don't need to expand our power or anything just yet. We kind of, we've kind of stabilized. We just need more prisoners. In fact, I think our next thing is going to be launching two caravans. We're going to want to launch two caravans to the Empire, though I am waiting for some of our people to recover from operations. For example, Zach here should still be feeling a little bit anesthetic woozy. We gave them some trade enhancers. Hopefully improve our trading. So I think what we'll do instead is we will move this. This entire storage area needs to go, and we're going to turn it into a second kitchen. Eight of these is not going to be enough. Sixteen kitchens might be able to support this late game, though we should probably squeeze in a few more. Hmm. I think it's where do we put this. I think we're going to move this storage area down here. This is going to put all our storage in a very centralized location, but you know what? Eh, we got to do something about it, and we're going to have to overwrite some of the... Uh, yeah, that's going to be some of the ambrosia, but you know what? we, we got enough of ambrosia. We don't have to care too much. I think... I think we have enough constructors. <laughs> it's like a different one for every wall segment. Hey, it works. That's all that counts. Now let's uh, move our storage in here. Yeah, that looks more like a storage room. Center area will be for all the stuff we care about, and the outside area will be for steel and wood, bricks, that kind of thing. Uh, it's just, that's pretty much the theme we've been going with so far. Now this is all going to have to go. Uh, yeah, the lot of it. This entire area is about to become a new kitchen. It's a pity, but it doesn't matter. The animals can move a whole bunch of it, and seriously, we've got enough pawn labor that if we want to, we can crank up the, the hauling for a bit and get it all moved in a very short period of time. But first, first we just got to finish this area out. Well, this is, well, while all of that has moved over, it's time to start on our next build project. We're, we're finally able to catch up on things we've been meaning to do for ages. Well, we can't floor anything, we still don't have enough marble for that, but what we can do is we can actually set ourselves up a mortar barrage area. I've been meaning to do that for so long, and I think this area here is a perfect location. Bit of a dead end, it's located at the side somewhere, and it's... It, there's, there's plenty of tables nearby, so I'm thinking something along the lines of this. Each one of those would be a mortar alcove, and if they do pop or explode or get hit by something or someone decides to punch them in a rage, when they explode, they won't damage anything but the surrounding walls, meaning we can't end up with a chain reaction. That's why you don't put a whole bunch of mortars right beside each other. Still leaves an entrance in there. One, two, three, four, four, eight, twelve, sixteen mortars. Hmm, I was hoping for more. You know what? Sixteen will do fine. It turns out these things cost 225 steel a pop. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. You know what, we'll just stick down eight, and we've got two more we can transfer over here when it's ready. We'll also have to make sure there's no roof on this. Yeah, it's fine. Then, then, then we'll see what the... I'm not even sure what kind of threats this is going to be required for, but considering you're putting in the new barrels in 1.3, I, I don't... I, I want to have a chance to play around with a whole bunch of mortars before it becomes more difficult. One thing I didn't know, pawns like to stargaze on top of solar panels or Cloudwatch. 
seems like an uncomfortable bed. I don't think I've seen anyone lying on, on, on solar panels before, but hey, what do you know? Well, there is an eclipse going on. That's going to put a minor kink in our plans. We'll just have to, uh, well, that means all of our solar's just gone down, which means we're going to have to grab all of our lights. Damn it, is that all of them? <laughs> we have too many sun lamps. Come on, give me them. Nope, that's that's actually just grow zones. It's really hard to click on a tiny light at this distance. Okay, 82 sun lamps. <laughs> oh my god. There we go, and I think that turned them all off. If we didn't do that, our battery power would be gone instantly. It's just uh, the sun lamps run entirely off the solar. That's effectively what powers them. Every, well, the other, everything else is running off the geothermal and the wind. So I think that's everything off, is it? Yep, you're all powered off. I'm gonna have to double check because if our batteries go empty, it would be really, really painful. No, I think we're good, and the batteries are. Yeah, they're they're fine. They're fine. Probably fine. Yeah, yeah, they're good. All right, let's finish this off. While this has been going on, we have been loading up our transport pods to do some more trading with the Empire. Namely, so we can hopefully get our hands on some good gear. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter which one we go to. Yeah, visit. Yeah, I think visit will be the way to go with that one. Especially considering they're so heavy, they can't move. Oh, and we should immediately replace those. Assuming we still have enough steel left. How's our steel supplies looking? Jeez. We burned through so much steel making these, I forgot how expensive these are. Let's find out what the Empire has on offer. Please, 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 uh, have something good. We want to get a, a good weapon if you've got it. Any, uh, oh, you got a Persona Monosword. Sword. Please tell me it's got, ah, never mind. Psy Meditative and Mad Mutterings. Not really what we were looking for. Unfortunately, nothing too important here. Uh, wall trainer, well, psychic trainer wall rays, which we really should get our hands on. We haven't got one of those yet for some reason. A psychic suit pulser will sell some insect jelly. I was an idiot and brought things I couldn't sell to them, but that's fine. We'll sell them to some other traders later. Uh, psychic shock lance and insanity lance. I think we're gonna have to send over some more money for the uh, insanity lance and the low shield pack. Those two will come in handy later on. Our second transport pod launch is going to be much more focused. It's just going to be silver and insect jelly. That seems to be two things the Empire love, and well, we don't really have much else we can give them. And uh, we'll visit and while that's going on we'll take home the second transport pod they've finished their trading now and we're just going to call a transport shuttle because that's the fastest way to get home and uh, where are we going to land you unfortunately the empire's uh, weapon only has hunger pangs and psi meditative uh, really annoying it's so hard to find a kill focused weapon it's we found them so easy last time around i don't know what's going on maybe it's just i was lucky Anyway, we don't have enough money here to buy everything we want, but yeah, we can get at least one Zeus Hammer and an Insanity Lance. Why not? And I'm not even bothered hanging around to get the second one. We'll just call the transport shuttle and go home. That was disappointing. Uh, you can land over there. Perfect. Anyway, once they're both back home, we'll unload them and uh, get on with the rest of our day. And what was that involved again? Oh, yes. Mortar barrage area. We've also queued up a whole bunch of mortar shells. We're going to aim to keep about uh, 160 in stock, just to make sure we have 10. We can fire off a volley of 10 mortar shells without reloading or without having to rebuild anything. Uh, refa replace that as well. And now next up was, yes, this place needs to be turned into a kitchen once everything in here has been removed. I think we have given it enough time. It is... Mm. We are going to have to uh, emergency move all of this. We need this space for a kitchen and we need it now. All of other building projects are caught up with. This will make it pretty much a mirror image of that. However, I'm thinking we've got a lot of free space in the middle here and we're not really banned by the same, well, we needed the biofuel refineries over here, but over here, I'm thinking we can just go all out on even more cook stations. So eight is good, more is better. A few modifications there. I have not had anything perfect, but that should fit in an extra four cook stations. Nice. We will, of course, have to throw the whole thing in steel to make sure that uh, we don't get any food poisonings, or to reduce the chances. Uh, Floor-wise, we could make use of sterile tile, but you know what? I'm not wasting the silver. Also, it's, it's really expensive. We're cheap. We're cheapy cheap. This is the cheapy cheap playthrough. Just as our kitchen comes to a finish, our eclipse comes to an end. I think it's time we can put all our crops back on. Uh, actually, let's try it this way. That would make more sense. And turn them all back on again. And, oh yes, it's the middle of the night, so that doesn't actually make any difference. Never mind, let's finish this sucker out. Soon, soon all those floors will be done. I love that there's like one person dedicated to every single tile. And I'm pretty sure there's one person dedicated to pretty much one of everything now. 
All right, to copy over all of this, it, it, it would normally be a bit difficult, but we have mods for that. So let's just clone, uh, where is it? I think it's this one. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's get rid of that and let's just clone this entire one. Uh, how do I clone this again? Oh yes, clone bills. That allows us to clone that down there. And now let's go to each one of these and hit paste bill stack. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, it's a little bit time consuming to do this with, you know, 16 of them, but... Actually, can we do multiples? No, we can't. Never mind. Hey, it was worth a try. I didn't even realize this. I've been using this for ages, it seems, but I never actually got this clone section. I never realized this was here. I never clicked on the tab. And this would have made things far simpler when we were going around on our, um, our little nomadic journeys. All right, with that done, uh, what's the next project? I think we'll help out our anti-food poisoning cases by maybe flooring things. We do have 2700 marble and it would be nice to floor a little bit of this area around here. For example, this is going to be a high traffic area where everyone's going to be running back and forth to the kitchens, to the fridge. So I say we just marble a lot of it. It's not perfect, people coming from, oh, damn it. One second while I just uh, slowly but surely manage an area. There we go. That, now, the way dirt works is uh, the moment someone walks on dirt, uh, think of it like they get dirt stuck to the soles of their shoes, and then at any point walking along clean floor, they can drop it off. Which is why everyone says, either floor everything or floor nothing. In this instance, we just want to make sure that these high traffic areas where people are going to be going into the kitchens back and forth dragging food, just hopefully this should cut down on the amount of dirt that ends up in there because they'll be walking all along a tiled floor from the kitchen back to the, well, from the kitchen to the fridge and back again, and vice versa. We'll see how that works out. If food poisoning cases go up, well, I suppose we'll just have to live with it then because I'm not removing the floors. I do have to say, though, the sight of this many pawns working industriously at putting down flooring. Ah, oh, so nice. Maybe someday we will have enough marble to actually floor the whole base. Though, that will take a while. That will take an awful while. Oh my god. It's just... How many days have we actually been playing so far today? We started on the 15th of December... 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 I just... I'm going to call it December. I don't care. It's December now. Uh, well, back when we did that, quest available, an aristocrat under threat. That sounds violent. I like I like the ones that are slightly more violent. Okay, this guy is fleeing a troubled political situation and wants to hide out here for 11 days. Hmm. Enemies have somehow provoked mechanoids into... Oh, mechanoids? Two mech clusters of twice size will deploy nearby. You keep musky mood above 25% and 11 days. Uh, silence. Ooh. What are you? Psychic hypersensitivity and kill thirst. Well, I mean, it does look pretty tasty. You know what? I don't know. Should we bother? This would seem like to only slow us down. What we need is humans. We need to get humans and get humans into our, uh, our prisons. Dealing with a couple of mech clusters. Normally I'd be all up for doing that sort of stuff, but we just, no, we have plans. We want to finish this out so we can get on to the 1.3 update and the uh, the new religions. I, I really, really want to try those out. Wait, ideologies, that's it, they're called ideologies. I, do, I knew they wouldn't call them religions, that's just a little bit too, uh, too on the nose. It, it, ideology sounds way better. Uh, let's see, I am fat. Okay, I'm fat dragon build is no longer inspired for taming, that's fine. We've got loads of inspirations that have gone to waste because, well, there's nothing really to spend them on or the people just don't have the skills necessary. With the last of this almost done, actually, is it almost done in here? Oh, damn it, okay, there's a little bit more to go down here. Once that's done, I think we renovate this section in here. I want to move all those power cells, plus the, the four extra we have in storage. I want to actually give them their own dedicated honeycomb protection grid. Before we go moving all of those, though, there is one piece of accounting that needs to be taken care of. That is down here. Oh, my revenge, I'll take care of that in a second. Uh, we want to yeah, put the heat in here. We want three of these here so that we can provide cooling to this base during the hot hot months. This old base only went in and we do have the heaters in there to keep it warm during the cold weather, but we didn't put in anything to keep it cool during the hot weather. We may have to remove the roof on this though. This area may get so toasty that that could be a problem. This is indoors and it's 42. Yeah, we're probably going to have to remove a few. Actually, let me think. Oh, what am I doing? Dump it into the, here, into the solar area. If we dump it into the solar area, that place is already wide open. We can dump as much heat in there as we'd like. Perfect. They're even, they're even right on a power wire, so we don't have to do anything. Right, uh, with that done, though, yeah, I had to take care of something. What was it? Ah, yes, a bunch of hungry... Uh, oh, that's one thing. Jason Zinsky here, they're on a... They're close to a mental break. They stayed on a mining drill for ages and never stopped. They stayed until the rest and recreation was completely through the floor. This is the second time I've caught someone doing that. And then the moment I stop them from working the mining drill, they, they get up and go back to doing their normal things. I think there's something wrong there. The game might be bugging out at this scale. 
Yeah, eh, at moment. Well, that horse issue turned out to be not a horse issue. Turned out to be not an issue at all, it turns out. Eh, mega slow. <laughs> oh, never mind. Our people are definitely getting better at taking care of the problems for themselves. Before we go moving this stuff, we should really pick a new location. I think we want something somewhere far away and somewhere on the edge and somewhere, well, where there's stone on the ground because we don't really want this stuff, well, we want this stuff taking up places that we're not going to turn into farmland. For example, there's a, a block down here we're not using, but that can all be turned into farmland there. Uh, this is right beside the tree, so I'd like to leave a little bit of space. But over here, I think we've got a this section up here. There's there's no need to keep any of that. We can turn that into whatever we want. So I'm thinking that's where we're going to dump all of our high explosive energy storage. Oh, wait, before we get started on that, we want to start planning even further ahead. Uh, down here, these uh, moisture pumps are... Oh, actually, these moisture pumps are just about finished, are they? Oh, they are finished. Damn. Okay. Well, that means... We can start installing moisture pumps over here. I wanted to save some energy on these things because oh, these things do take a while to expand. It's about a year to get these things to fully expand out. And I think that they're... Hmm, let, me, let me plan. There's going to be a whole bunch of them through here. Yeah, maybe. We'll put those all through there. We'll see what they look like when they're finished. And then we'll check down some power wires. It's going to take about a year to drain this entire area. But we should be able to turn all of that mud and shallow water into something we can build on. That will only leave us this patch and this patch of water to worry about. We'll, we'll have to build around them. But I'm, I'm sure we'll find a use for the area. I think one of my favourite parts about the game is if there is a fire somewhere, your animals will wander over there to get burned. They, they have the whole map to go through. But if there's a fire around... They're gonna go wandering over to it. Any animals over here yet? No, no. Give it time. Give it time. Our beautiful base is being visited by three trade good people. All at the same time. Well, namely because we order them. Let's see if any of them have anything good. None of them have any cows that I can see, but hopefully we can sell off a bunch of our junk. The only worthwhile things they have are cloth. Thank you. No, thank you. Oof. Well, let's see what the other two sides have to sell. I'm not holding out much hope for the Imperium, but uh, the other fellas, the townspeople, they might actually have something worth buying. We did manage to pick up a whole bunch of cloth from them, but not much else. Uh, Empire-wise, we're heading down here to trade with them right now. Where do you go? Yeah, down here. For some reason, they're going over here. They seem to like to uh, stay in this area. I don't know why, but that seems is a bad idea today because these guys have shown up. 28th mega slots. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deal with them tomorrow. <laughs> no. Too much effort to get people over there. i got to figure out some way of saving these because I think if they get uh, killed, they might turn hostile. So we might have to just uh, use this person as a lure, draw them through there, get a bunch of people. There's more people over here we could draw upon, say, about... I mean, we can grab 75 from there, but over here we've only got access to about, ooh, 34. Yeah, we'd almost be in a fair fight at that point with a bunch of mega slots, which you don't want. But I think we'll do another quick naming ceremony before we go because we've got so many people. Oh, my God. What are we down to? Uh, actually, wait, yeah. Yeah, I think we can do another 10. At 171, we've got Paul Orr, mine, uh, mining and animals. Namely because of, well, yeah, we need more miners, more animals. They're a transhumanist, a fast walker, and jealous. It's good they're a transhumanist because they've got a lot of scars. Oh my god, no caring, no cleaning, but that's fine. Just look at that. Head scar, right leg scar, right kidney destroyed, left big toe shot off. Yeah, you've had, you've had some good times. We'll give you a quick drill arm and that'll sort out your transhumanist... Uh, concerns. 172, we have Jess, planting and mining, namely because burning passion in plants. Uh, mining because, well, we could always do it more of those. A too smart, lazy jogger. Not sure how that one boils down, but whatever. Yeah, you're, you're too smart and you're lazy, but you're a jogger. Who, who jo I've never met a lazy jogger. I just, it doesn't compute for me. But no health conditions, doing quite well for themselves. In fact, I think we'll queue up an operation as well. Quick field hand will uh, turn you into a much more productive pawn for our needs. 173, we got Frank Lee, cooking and planting. Yeah, that's, well, the more cooks we have, the better. Psychically hypersensitive, which is great, too smart. Also pretty handy, actually, for leveling up their cooking. And bloodlust, which one of the rarest traits I've found is bloodlust. It is so handy. But they'll also be doing wardening and a bit of medical on the side. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to help out their cooking. But rock solid pawn, no health conditions at all. Welcome to the team. 174, we got Zag Zig. I want to say Zag Zig, but uh, I don't know. I'm not very good when it comes to the pronunciation of the letter Z. Uh, art and cleaning. We've stuck them in the artistic because they've got a burning passion for it. They're sanguine, greedy, and tough. I don't know how someone's put sanguine and greedy. That seems con conflict con to conflict with the others, but whatever, they're fine. They're actually going to be a great artist. We've also stuck them with the side in medical because that's very handy. Health conditions, asthma, asthma, bite scare, and they're missing an index finger. Yeah, sorry about that, Zigzag. I am really sorry, Malp. This is 
this is 175 and you've got, I, I, I don't know how the pawn is this terrible. It just makes absolutely no sense to me. Uh, cleaning, that's all they can do. They literally do not have a passion in anything. They have zero passions for anything at all. And they're a pyromaniac. <laughs> they're a quick sleeper at least. And no health conditions. So yeah, they have that going for them. They're, they're just going to clean. They're going to clean a lot. I have never seen a pawn this week sauce. It just makes absolutely no sense to me. But hey, you'll get to scrub the place a lot. You, you, you'll have plenty of cleaning experience by the end of this. 176, we have Annoy. Building and animals. Because, well, they've got construction. <laughs> Not that we don't have enough constructors already. Animals, and uh, that's pretty much it. Fast learning, steadf steadfast, and brawler. They're actually quite a solid pawn in a lot of respects. If it wasn't for health conditions of... Head has a cut scar, left arm has a couple of scars, right toe is gone, and the right arm is completely shot off. Oops, I suppose. Well, never mind. I'm sure we'll get around to Bionics, Bionics at some point later on. In the meantime, they're just going to go around botching constructions for a while. Welcome to the team, Anoy. 177, we have Emma01. Or Emma01? Yeah, it depends what way you want to say that one, I suppose. Now, Emma here is going to be straight into plants and animals because, yeah, the more plants people we have, the better. And I was going to go to mining, but I think at that point we just had so many miners. I'm like, you know what? Just plants. Some, some animal people are also going to be necessary for all those cows we've got coming along. They're a beautiful misandrist. They're going to break so many hearts. Uh, health conditions wise, absolutely zero. They're just going to cause so many rejections. Welcome to the team. You'll, uh, you, you'll certainly fit in-ish, sort of. 178 Stephen Taylor mining and cleaning uh yeah there's obviously that's why they're doing mining and nothing else a fast walking misandrist you, you'll get along well in the colony colony uh one bite scare on their torso and an operation queued up to install a drill arm because you know why not if, if we've got the drill arms you might as well be use them rock solid pawn actually they're going to become a very good miner over time especially considering the specialization 179 Jonas Simple plants and animals namely because yeah plants and animals there there's no point giving them cooking or crafting especially considering they're a slow learner which means it will take them forever to actually learn how to do anything even with a, a point of skill in it shooting and melee though look at that double burning passions in both of those tough skinned land is already installed they're actually a pretty decent pawn if it wasn't for the slow learner they'd be a great pawn welcome to the team chief I am really sorry, Re. Uh, this is just, yeah, Re or Ori H. I don't know what way you pronounce it. Maybe if there was dots between them, it'd be Ori H. Anyway, you're basically cleaning. Look at this for a horrible pawn. But they're an aesthetic, which, you know, that that's handy. Uh, they're a misandrist, which means they really distrust and dislike men, which, yeah, and they're a guy, so they distrust themselves. I, I understand why. They have no skills. They have The only passions they have are shooting and melee. At least they've got passions in something, you know? Uh, incapable of skilled labour. So yeah, there's a list of all the things they are not able to do at all at all. But it doesn't matter because they didn't have a passion in anything to start with. Uh, I was going to put them into animals, but I thought, you know what? Cleaning. We'll just stick them straight into cleaning. At least they don't have any health conditions. So, um, welcome to the cleaning team. For the 180th pawn, not exactly a ringing endorsement of this strategy. But overall, it's actually been going really well. Um, I... I it feels a bit like you're driving a small country as opposed to a colony. The weird thing is, say, uh, let's look at uh, steel over here. We've only got 376 left. We started with about 12 to 1800 steel, but we've mined about another 12 to 1800 steel in the meantime. It's just we spend so much of it so quickly. I think the, uh, the easiest way to mention is uh, let's actually have a quick look at submachine guns. We've like to build a submachine gun is not that expensive. Where is it? Uh, heavy SMGs, 75 steel, four components. That's Actually, that's one of the cheaper guns. It's why we build it. Then you have to look at, we have 180 pawns. So to build all of those machine guns took 13,500 steel just to make the machine guns. Another 720 components. And that's been going on consistently in the background. We usually have about four people, you know, three to four people consistently making nothing but heavy machine guns until we catch up, which we have now. We have finally caught up with our heavy machine guns. We've got 10 in storage. Then you have to consider that we've also got people constantly building drill arms and field hands pretty much non-stop. And we've been churning out God knows how many high explosive shells in the background because we uh, we simply upgraded our new mortar pad. Yeah, also when it comes to marble, this this fluctuates up and down. I try and keep it around 1,500 to 2,500. The reason being, it, it's tricky to manage is this is how many art benches we have going. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six art benches going just pretty much non-stop. Each one of those statues takes 100 marble to make, which means that's, you know, that's 600 marble on those tables. As well as that, they, they, they build them in about a day, day and a half. So you're, you're just chewing through enormous amounts of marble to produce all these statues because we need them for all of the rooms. 
Let's check there. There's uh, 48 buildings. How many of those are statues, though? Damn it. Yeah, that's 23 sca sculptures we have in storage. Let's just have a quick look over here. There's, uh, there's 64 large sculptures. <laughs> Well, people keep asking. I, I don't think that's a mod that shows the uh, radius of the statues. I think that's just statues in general do that. That might be baked into the base game. For the time being, though, what we desperately need is more prisoners. We are so ready to take on a whole bunch more. If you'll check it out. We have six people who have the trust ability, word of trust, which means we are really able to rapidly recruit people. Uh, Food-wise, uh, this is all these crops are about to come in. So we're a little bit low on food at the moment. That's just because we're, we're waiting on the corn to get harvested. And Devil Strand, we're not quite there yet. I'm still waiting on that whole Red Army vibe. But soon enough, soon enough. Uh, next up, I think we'll be taking care of this really quick, and then it'll be on to hopefully finding more recruits. I was thinking of going out in the map and trying to just get more recruits that way, but unfortunately, without a, without a heat box to heat stroke them out, we'd get maybe three or four recruits, or maybe five or six tops. I'd prefer to wait until we can fill this up and grab a hundred at a time. It just feels uh, more normal. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out here. I hope you enjoyed, and good luck.